A sailor on the deck of a ship observes an airplane in the sky. Label the diagram using the following terms: horizontal line, line of sight, angle of elevation, and angle of depression. The horizontal lines are the dashed lines. The line of sight is a solid line. The angle of elevation is the angle the sailor has to look up to see the plane. The angle of depression is the angle the pilot has to look down to see the boat. Now we'll move on to Part B. The sailor uses a simple clinometer to measure the angle of elevation. A diagram of the clinometer is shown to the right. What is the angle of elevation? In the diagram, we have a protractor, a string, and a metal washer that hangs down. When reading a clinometer, the angle of elevation is the angle between the string and 90 degrees. It's the same idea for the angle of depression. The angle of elevation is 30 degrees. Now we'll move on to Part C. If the sailor tilts her head 30 degrees upwards to see the plane, and the plane is flying at an altitude of 3,000 meters, what is the horizontal distance from the boat to the plane? We'll complete the triangle by drawing in the altitude of the plane, 3,000 meters. Also, we'll label the horizontal distance from the boat to the plane, x. We have the opposite, and we want to find the adjacent. Use a tangent ratio. The angle is 30 degrees, so plug it in for theta. The opposite side is 3,000 meters, and the adjacent side is x. Cross multiply. Divide both sides by tan 30 to isolate x. Now we have x by itself. This evaluates to 5,196 meters. The horizontal distance from the boat to the plane is 5,196 meters.